Whether you're running for health or training for a race, we all want to know how we're progressing in our training. That's where three key metrics come in, training effect, training status, and training load. Each gives us a different perspective to better understand how effective our workouts are and how much we're improving. They help make our runs feel more purposeful and give us peace of mind. Let's start with training effect. Training effect is split into aerobic and anaerobic training effect. Aerobic workouts help improve your endurance, fat burning, and your ability to sustain performance over time. On the other hand, anaerobic workouts boost your sprint power, fatigue resistance, and help you hit peak performance in short bursts. These two metrics tell you whether your run focused more on aerobic or anaerobic fitness, and whether the effect was significant or just average. For example, if you jog 10k at an easy pace, you might get an aerobic training effect of 2.0 to 3.0, and an anaerobic effect of 0. That means the run helped maintain your aerobic fitness. But if you run the same 10k in a race, pushing for a PR, your aerobic effect might go over 4.0, and the anaerobic effect could be between 0.0 and 2.0, that means you boosted your VO2 max, and got a bit of anaerobic benefit too. Now, imagine you're doing 10 sets of 400 meter intervals each run at 110 to 115% of your VO2 max pace. You might see an aerobic effect of 2.0 to 4.0, and an anaerobic effect over 4.0, that means you not only improved your VO2 max, but also maintained your anaerobic fitness. This is the same 0 to 5 scale we mentioned earlier. Garmin uses it to help runners understand how effective each workout really was. 0 means no benefit at all. 1 means a minor benefit. 2 means you're maintaining your fitness. 3 means you're improving. 4 means a significant improvement. And 5 means you're overreaching training too hard without enough recovery. That wraps up our look at training effect. Next, we'll dive into training status.